I'm encouraging you uh, to listen to the Money Minute Ministry. It'll be a blessing to you. Stay tuned and God bless you. Well, praise God. Hey, welcome to the Money Minute Ministry. Uh, your host, myself, Pastor James L. Hines, and elect lady, Sister Leontine Hines. She's not present on film, but she's in the building. Everybody say Elvis in the building. Elvis in the building. Well, it's a blessing to have her uh, and my son and daughter special edition today on Real Talk. Uh, today we shall look at the life of Jacob transforming his children into the future. And so today I want to tell you the man that left with a stick and God gave him a plan, so stick with the plan. Join me now. Praise God. Remember the man with a stick. Our special edition will be the story of Joseph. Uh, once again, I want you to get the spiritual revelation to uh, biblical uh, investment concept so you can start getting in your spirit. Today we're going to talk about the law of difference. The ability to be able to know Whatever God created, it was not complete until the difference joined it. In other words, um, just side notes for you that are Bible students. In Genesis, when God created man, he still was not completed until God took a rib for him and created a woman. Uh, God made night and day. Uh, there's a difference between night and day. Uh, regardless of what your belief is, everybody agrees in the law of difference. Everybody believes there's a right, there's a left. There's light, there's darkness. I don't care if you're atheist, I don't care if you're a believer, everybody agrees with the law of difference. And if you do have the ability to be able to look at things and understand the difference, difference is what makes it complete. My wife, uh, she's the other half that makes me whole. Um, my son and daughter is what makes me a father. Uh, my, um, my brother and sister is what makes me a sibling. Uh, it's the difference that makes us. If we're going to look at a story, you've got to be able to guard your family, make them understand their difference, and have them to learn how to guard it, protect it, and understand it. And then try to get other people to recognize their difference and reward them for their difference. Some people see the difference and they despise it. Uh, because uh, some people who have this great ability don't understand their difference. So let us go in the story. Because I'm trying to get the real talk. Because I want you to see uh, the difference in my children. Uh, what God had me to recognize and try to have them to guard it and nurture it and protect it and then in return have people reward them for their difference. Um, praise God. Genesis 37 and 23. And it came to pass when Joseph was come unto his brethren that they stripped Joseph out of his coat, his coat of many colors that was on him. Now notice Joseph is the son of Jacob who now has become Israel. And uh, they're in the promised land, and Joseph is not with his brothers, but his father uh, decides to send Joseph to check on his brothers. Uh, Joseph is not with the other eleven, and the other eleven is not with Joseph. But his father understood there was a difference in Joseph, and he made him a coat of many colors. But Joseph didn't understand that he was different, and he uh, uh, he prophesied and told people what. The spirit had told him that his brothers would be bound down to him and his parents would worship him. And they hated him for that difference. And you've got to uh, make some people, some people are gifted, uh, but, uh, but it irritates and rubs people the wrong way because people don't know how to guard that. And I'm going to try to show you when God revealed to me the difference in my children. Um, so praise God. They stripped him of his coat. His coat of many colors. What made him different, they destroyed him and they cast him in the pit. And if you read the story, they sat outside of the pit eating their food. 
And I no doubt when Joseph was in that pit where there was no water, said to his brothers, I just believe, come on, man, the jokes is over. Reuben, the oldest sibling, they wanted to kill him. If you read the text, it says Reuben heard their plot. Uh, people knew there was some difference in Reuben. So, you know, you know how to get around the people who are going to be on your side. And so Reuben uh, tell them, don't kill our brother. Let us not share blood. And they cast Joseph in the, in the, in the pit. I don't want to waste a lot of time because I'm trying to get to the financial piece. But I want you to understand there was a difference in Joseph. Uh, there was a difference in Reuben. And you got to have the ability to understand the difference. Um, parents uh, need to understand the difference in their children. Who can handle what and who can't handle some. So praise God. Uh, the difference that will decide your success. Difference will decide your success. If you don't understand that uh, you are different than others, you don't know where to gravitate to. Uh, I discovered a lady in life, God had just made me different. Uh, there was no need of me hanging at the club. There was no need of me uh, hanging out on the street. Uh, I had recognized my difference and embraced it. And I guard it against. I don't have children around town. Uh, I don't have girlfriends on the side because I know God had made me special. And I didn't want to make other folk feel bad because I didn't want to drink and party with them. I just accepted my difference and I guarded my difference. And I says Joseph is my smartest and Elise is my brightest. And let me tell you what I mean by that. Um, to me, uh, Joseph can read a book and get 100%. Lease can come in this room and automatically know where to sit. Now, you might take that very lightly, but some people don't know what to do. And some people does. Um, I discovered a lease gift when she was young. I discovered Joseph's gift in high school. Now, I'll come back to that. Um... Wisdom is the ability to recognize difference. Um, God blessed me with the gift of wisdom to understand there's a difference. And, you know, many members that make up one body. And some people don't recognize the difference in the gifts. Everybody don't have a speaking gift. Some people have a serving gift. And when you understand the difference, you can uh, put people in their place. Your ability to discern that the divine difference in everything around you decides your success. Uh, if you don't know, uh, uh, least can see a crowd of people at a house party and won't go in. Uh, uh, Joseph might read the manual and says we're invited. Uh, is there's a difference in brightness and being smart? And now that's that you can laugh, but get the revelation of the point. I noticed at least when she was young, this was a situation happened to me in the house, had a young man living with me. Lise was about four years old. Now I want you to understand this. Her mother is a choir director, but she did not raise our kids like um, Maddie Clark, teaching her children how to sing and learn songs. My children didn't come up uh, leading songs at the church. So this, I'm setting this foundation to understand this revelation. This young man who had lived with me, his time was to go back home. I'm not mentioning a name to save the identity and the embarrassment because the story is somewhat very shocking. His parents was a, his father was real hard on the young man and he was afraid to go back home. And I had knew it was time for him to go back home. And I put him in the car and Lise was a young girl. She said, Dad, can I go with you? Can I go with you? She was about three. And we was riding and taking him home. And closer we got to the house, I could see the boy so uncomfortable. And I said, son, it's time for you to go back home. And as we was walking down the sidewalk, Elise started to sing a song. Oh, Peter, don't be afraid. She was a young girl. She didn't know the climate. She didn't know the situation. But she just had a spirit of compassion. I see her gifts so often. She don't want to see anything on TV with about a woman being raped or misused. She'll just say, please turn. She has such a great compassionate spirit. When Joseph was a teen, I discovered it. I was his high school football defensive back coach. And he was in 11th grade and we was playing a team. 
And I won't say the team name because Joe dominated him. And he had three interceptions, and he started on offense and defense. And I'll never forget what happened. It was the fourth quarter. We was up by three touchdowns. And um, the coach whispered out, Hines, uh, get the subs in. And uh, defensive coordinator said to me, now you can decide if you want to take Joseph out because he tied the school record. One more interception would break the record. So I whispered to Joseph, hey, Joe, you want to go in and break the school record? And he said something to me I shall never forget. He said, Dad, all these kids come into practice every day. Let them play. Let their parents feel some excitement. And I knew right then he was a very unselfish child. Uh, the young man that took his place was third string. He had two interceptions and two drop passes. That's what I'm trying to show you of Joseph's ability to have about seven interceptions one game. But Joseph understood uh, the law of different. It's better not to be successful. One more story about Joseph. Uh, I had a Mercedes Benz and Joseph was, uh, I got his driver's license. And I said, Joe, I'm going to give you this Mercedes. And he told me, no, Dad, my friends will hate me for that. And he went and picked out an old Ragley Green car. And his sister said to me, Lady Dad, we got to do something better than that. You know, Joe Carr was smoking and backfiring. Uh, but Joseph understood that he was different. And God had given him a coat of many colors. But he wasn't going to tell his teammates nor his peers that God would raise him above. Sometimes you got to be bright enough to understand that the divine difference and how to guard it, nurture it, and protect it. I'm trying to talk to your parents to help you with your children. Uh, Sometimes your children got it, uh, but they flaunt it and people don't reward them for their difference. Uh, so uh, praise God. Your ability to discern the divine difference in everything around you decides your success. Uh, uh, you, you can get with the wrong man, the wrong woman, because you don't have the ability uh, to decide the difference. Uh, there's a difference between eyes and an ear, a t tongue and a nose. Uh, the ability, you, you don't understand what I'm saying, but I'm trying to reach somebody who's listening to this. you got to have the divine Spirit of God to determine difference, and it will lead you to success. Uh, you'll know uh, how long you should take your lunch break, when you should open your mouth, when you should keep it closed. The ability, the law of difference will make a difference in your life. The law of difference. Uh, there's a clap, and there is a whistle. Now, you're able to determine the difference between that. I had a little uh, test a day, two men. I whistle for one and I clap for, for the same one. I said, what's that? The man said, you whistle. The other man said, the same man said, you clap. My second test, I add, did the same thing. I whistled and I clap. I asked the man, what's that? He said, when I said, I clap, he said, you applauded. When I whistle, he said, you summons. I says, Ability uh, uh, to understand the different, different words, different meanings. But how was he able to uh, put in his mind to understand the whistle was to summon someone and the clap was to applaud someone? And so I said to myself, he's a different person. And he's able to be able to, um, they call those type of people ghost writers. Don't have the ability to communicate it, but they can write it for somebody who has the gift to be able to talk. I, I wish you hear me here. D don't fool yourself. All of these people writing all these books, doing all of these videos, they cannot do all of that. You can't produce movies or write sermons, give books and speeches and get it at that level. You got to have a team. You got to be able to recognize the difference and know to get what you need to be successful. Remember, I'm telling people, I have people in my church sometimes, I tell them, now you good in cutting grass, but you're trying to pass the folk. You don't have the gift of communication. You have the, the gifts of helps. As the people say in the street, stay in your lane. And, and, and when we understand our difference, we'll be successful. Oh, bless God. I want to birth such an awareness of their uniqueness within them that they will enhance, nurture, and guard it. When you understand your difference, you've got to enhance it. 
You got to work on it and build on it. You got to nurture it and you got to guard it because Satan wants to take it away from you. It's an investment. It's an investment as a parent. I believe my children are brighter than me and I'm glad they're not in the room because I'm not going to tell them that. And I've taken my gift as far as I can take it. Now it's for them to nurture their gift, guard their gift, and enhance their gift. Praise God. I want others to notice the difference. Uh, I could see when my children was younger, uh, people could notice their gift. When Lise was a young girl, coaches would beg for me that she could play basketball or soccer on a Sunday. And Lise would guard her difference. No. Uh, I can't play on Sunday. Uh, my, my parents don't allow that. And uh, she began to defend her position as a saint of God. I used to struggle with sometimes, uh, why you didn't sign a four-year Tennessee or Connecticut scholarship? And God said, not so. And sometimes the Spirit of God have to help guard the difference in your children. Remember, all things work for the good to them that love the Lord. And then God, when he has a special mission, for some people, if you don't guard him, he'll guard him. Remember, he didn't let anybody be the mother of Jesus. He didn't let anybody be the mother of John. Uh, there are certain people that God entrusts people with to nurture the difference. John was going to eat uh, locusts and wild honey and look like a wild man, but he was going to have clarity and content in his message. Uh, you generation of vipers, who warned you of the wrath of God to come? Uh, John was nurtured that uh, Jesus was a carpenter's son. Uh, Joseph, isn't that the carpenter's son? And he, they didn't know. Uh, a carpenter can build some stuff with nails in his hand. You'll get that later. Praise God. So um, the difference tragedy in and ultimately roared the difference. Uh, I'm raising my children to be academically sound so people can reward them for their difference. And there's a lot of people can do be an employee, but they don't have good personality. Uh, they don't have an excellent spirit. Remember, the Bible said Daniel was rewarded because he had an excellent spirit. And so teaching my kids, I say, thank you, please. Uh, your father is the pastor of the church. We are the servants in the church. Uh, don't talk to people like people have to do something for us. Let's do something for people. And so, uh, you know, just guarding the difference in the children, understanding everything is intentional. And so uh, in real talk, this might have to be a two-part series, but it's going to be tried to play all tomorrow. So you stick with it. Praise God. When you invest, Understand the difference between a stock, an ETF, an index fund, a mutual fund, and a RIT. Now, I'm going to stop with this one because uh, when I sent it to the typist, uh, she knew that there was a difference that everybody didn't understand that. This is not my work, but this is my mind. Real estate investment trust. You can own property without actually owning dirt. You can put your money in the market. Uh, as an investor, it will go and buy malls, office space, warehouses, hotels, and apartments. They use the buy it or the bill it. They'll take your money and then they'll pay you 90% of the growth of the reward. When, uh, when uh, Bath and Beyond borrow their money, your money to build a store, they pay you from the profit. And most people don't know. I tell people you can make your own annuity. Uh, your own pay. I, I laugh when people say buy annuity. Well, I give you $100,000, you pay me a check, say $3,000 every month until I die. Well, what if I die next month? You paid me $3,000 on $100,000. I invest $100,000 in these vehicles. I pay myself what I call a cash flow, not the principal, just the interest or the capital gains from it live on it, I die, my children still got the 100000 Now, I'm not trying to put insurance out of business, but I'm trying to make you understand the difference. When you understand the difference, it'll lead to success. If you don't understand the difference between night and day, you'll walk in the night and you'll stumble, so said the word of God. He that walketh in the day will stumble not. He that walketh in the night will stumble. If you don't know the difference, you're going to stumble. So praise God. I'm going to try to hurry up and get to this real talk because I haven't seen my, my loved ones in a couple of months and I'm excited about them 
And I know it took a lot of them to come and visit old Paul Paul, as my daughter calls me. And um, they not as groomed as I would like them because all of the beautician and barbershop clothes up. But old Lisa's pretty and old Joe a little rough. But praise God, they my children. And regardless of whatever they look like, they my children. And so I thank God for that. Uh, let us go to the next slide. I recommend if you're going to buy a stock, buy eBay. Now, that's for my good trustee around here, Albert Peterson. He buys everything on eBay. And I said to myself, if we keep buying everything on eBay, let's buy eBay. Uh, it's a way of everybody shopping now. Uh, ETF, I said, buy this PFXF. That's for pre preferred stock. A brief introduction or definition. Preferred stock, a company issued two types of stock. A common stock and a preferred stock. If the company goes bankrupt, the first people get paid are who? The preferred people, the preferred stock. That stock doesn't rise up, it just pay a steady dividend. And so most people that when you start getting in close to your 60s like my sister-in-law, this is what you need to buy, amen. Index, uh, New York fame, that's pretty interesting, that's the top. 10 technology companies from your Google to your eBay to your Apple. Uh, if you can't buy all of those stocks, you can buy this. Now, one share is going to cost you $3,820. Uh, but uh, your dividend or your capital gains be well worth it because most technology companies at this stage doesn't pay a dividend, but they pay a lot of growth. Mutual funds, B. RKB, that's Warren Buffett. Uh, that's, um, he started that company. Uh, his father was an investment man and he educated his son to understand his difference. You go into finance. And Warren Buffett uh, and some other investors bought out two companies and it became one name and Warren Buffett turned it into a financial company. I believe that's what's gonna happen with my children. Uh, they're going to turn their company into an investment firm. Um, and this here, S and Ritz, this is SBRA, it's invest in healthcare facilities. Now, we're all growing older, and they're building healthcare facilities all around the country. Most people don't understand you don't need all the money when you're going to build something. They call developers. They come out and say, you got the land, we'll build a place. They know how to go get funders and build the structure. So praise God for all of you uh, that's paying attention and trying to get in biblical investments, changing and making a difference even in our culture and in our faith. So God bless you. Uh, Real Talk with Joseph and Elise. Growing up in a house being trained to give, save, and invest. I want you to hear from their perspective. I'll try to moderate and direct some, and guide some questions. Uh, I know Joseph will probably be meek and least will be like the lion. And so I praise God because that's their difference. That's what makes them beautiful. Remember, he came as meek as a lamb, but he's coming back as a roaring lion. And so I thank God to be able to know I have a, a lamb and a lion and they switch off sometimes. Joe become the lion and least becomes the lamb. But praise God, I got them both. So, amen. Stay tuned for Real Talk. Well, praise God. This has been a JLJA Ministry production. Stay tuned for next lesson where God has brought me to teach and bring my pet. Preaching, education, and teaching. God bless you. See you next week. 